A prime coat serves as a waterproof layer protecting subgrade soil or base materials from moisture loss or wet weather before paving. It's recommended when aggregate base is at the correct moisture content and paving is delayed for several weeks. Tack coat, made of non-diluted asphalt emulsion, promotes bonding between existing materials and new asphalt layers. It must be applied before overlaying existing asphalt or PCC surfaces or when paving against cold joints. Prime and tack coats should only be applied to clean, dry surfaces. Use a mechanical broom or air flushing to remove dust and dirt. Poor bonding can cause slippage and significantly reduce a pavement's fatigue resistance, shortening its lifespan. The FAA mandates a prime coat between the aggregate base and asphalt layers, applied with a pressure distributor at least 48 hours before paving or longer. The ideal prime coat application rate depends on how much material the aggregate base can absorb in 24 hours, typically ranging from 0.15 to 0.30 gallons per square yard based on surface texture. There's different nozzles that go in these spray bars and your material dictates which nozzle you want to use and every manufacturer will have a recommended nozzle for each type of material. So what you want to do when you install your, your nozzles, you essentially want to, want to tilt them 15 to 30 degrees, something like that, so that you get, um, you get an overlapping spray. You want to make sure your bar height is correct. Um, that, that can be set on your rate, your speed of travel. Uh, if you've got any crosswind, you want to adjust your bar height properly. Main thing is to get a good even distribution do not set end nozzles at a different angle like 60 or 90 degrees. You want to make sure that your nozzles are not setting, you know, perpendicular to, to each other. Um, you don't want to make sure that they're not parallel to the bar either. When you get that fan pattern shooting, if they're fanning out and those fans are actually hitting, what will happen is, is you'll collect that material and it will be heavy in streaks. In this situation, clean the spray bar, adjust the angles and height, and apply the coat again to achieve complete coverage. The application rate depends on the target residual asphalt cement on the surface, typically between 0.04 and 0.07 gallons per square yard, and the asphalt cement in the emulsion. Milled pavements may need more residual tack coat. The FAA requires annual distributor calibration according to ASTM D2995. The residual tack coat rate refers to the asphalt binder remaining on the pavement after water evaporation. Most asphalt emulsions consist of about 60% residual asphalt binder and 40% water, plus a small amount of emulsifying agent. The emulsion tack coat will break, changing from brown to black as the water evaporates. After the water has evaporated, the emulsion must set, which takes about one to two hours. When using conventional pavers, keep all traffic off the tack coat until it has broken and ideally until it is set. However, with a spray paver, specialized tack coats are applied just ahead of the screen and break immediately upon contact with the new asphalt. The tack coat must stay on the pavement to ensure proper bonding between layers. If it is picked up by truck tires and tracked down the lane, adjustments are necessary.